Which Carhartt jacket is the warmest? It can be a difficult question to answer, especially with Carhartt having such a vast selection of jackets. And even then, how do you know which one's warmer, Sherpa lined or quilt lined? You can really get in the weeds on this thing. So for this video, we are gonna be ranking each men's Carhartt jacket from the lightest to the warmest so that you can make the most informed decision for your needs. Along with your base layer, your socks, your boots, having the right jacket can make all the difference in the world. The raw data was provided to me from Carhartt and was gathered at the Central Michigan University Center for Merchandising and Design Technology, where they tested 56 different Carhartt items. A high-tech mannequin with thermal sensors was equipped with each garment, and this adult-sized mannequin is the stuff of nightmares, but it can accurately measure the insulating properties of clothing and can even sweat to simulate exertion. It was equipped with a typical base layer consisting of a cotton mock turtleneck, five pocket jeans, cotton briefs, cotton poly mid-calf socks, fleece mittens, hat, and leather work boots for the jacket and coverall tests. The bib tests added an insulated nylon shell jacket to the same ensemble. The mannequin was then placed inside of a temperature controlled chamber where the results were recorded and repeated at least three times. A male mannequin was used for the men's clothing and a female mannequin for women's clothing. The base ensemble equated to a 0.8 Clo warmth rating in the jackets and bibs. For this video, we'll be focusing on the warmest men's Carhartt jackets. The results of the standardized total thermal resistance of the clothing and surface air layer around the mannequin, or CLO, were given a numerical value, which is what we'll use to rank them from lightest to warmest. Now it needs to be stated that everybody is different, okay? Depending on your physiology and the job that you're performing, some people run hot like me, some people run cold like my wife. And depending on what you're doing at your job or wherever, it's gonna make a big difference. So the warmest option isn't gonna be the best option for everybody. Additionally, for your convenience, every single jacket that I mentioned here will be listed and linked in the description below. And I'll also try to pin a comment so you can easily go and check them out when uh, I mention the one that sounds right for you. The lightest jacket that Carhartt makes is the Rain Defender Midweight Soft Shell Jacket. Now, this costs $100. It has a clo of 1.41. This was previously known as the Rough Cut Jacket, and it's a fleece-lined 9.4 ounce soft shell with a mock neck collar and a fair amount of stretch. It's perfect for those chilly mornings or nights in transitional months, or even as a mid-layer beneath a heavier jacket. Number 33 is the Super Ducks Detroit Jacket. This carries a clo of 1.42, and it costs $130. Now, Super Ducks is Carhartt's outdoor line, meant to offer more flexibility and softness with a brand new shell material. The Detroit Jacket is inarguably one of their coolest designs, so when you add the two together, it's a winning combination. Number 32, the hooded rough cut soft shell jacket. This carries a clo of 1.47 and it costs $110. Essentially, this is just like the rough cut jacket in position number 34, but with a hood for extra protection and warmth. Coming in at number 31 is the heavyweight soft shell jacket. Now this was formerly known as the Crowley soft shell and it carries a clo of 1.49, costs $100. And this jacket is essentially a heavyweight soft shell, similar to the rough cut jacket, but at a burlier 13.9 ounces. Coming in at number 30 is the FR Full Swing Quick Duck Jacket. This carries a clo of 1.49. It costs $200. Listen, FR gear isn't cheap, but Carhartt offers quite a few options, thankfully. The lightest of the flame resistant men's jackets is this one. The quick duck material is softer and more flexible than traditional duck, so this should wear a lot easier too. Number 29, the blanket line Detroit jacket. This carries a clo of 1.5, costs $90, and I did an entire video on this iconic jacket, including its history, and the new model has several added features. So if you want a Carhartt jacket that looks just as good as it performs, the Detroit jacket is definitely the one you want. Number 28, the Rockford Lightweight Rain Defender Jacket. This carries a clo of 1.53, costs $60, and the Rain Defender line is perfect for the occasional shower or inclement weather, and this is a great jacket to tackle those rainy spring days. Number 27, the Thermalined Active Jack. This carries a clo of 1.54, it costs $90, and in the Active Jack line, this is the lightest model with a simple thermal lining. And there's a reason that you see this model reimagined in a bunch of different Carhartt lines. It just works. I dare you to find a more popular work jacket. 
Number 26, the Full Swing Washed Duck Traditional Coat. This carries a clove 1.57, costs $150, and the traditional coat is another model which has several versions, and I've always seen it as kind of like the upgrade to the Active Jack, more pockets, more features, and the full swing gussets to boot. This is also the washed duck version, so it's a bit softer, and it kind of looks broken in from the start. Number 25, the Full Swing Armstrong Fleece Line Jacket. This carries a clo of 1.57, which is a tie. It costs $140. And somewhere between the traditional coat and the active jack is the Full Swing Jacket. Formerly known as the Armstrong, it loses the hood and has one vertical chest pocket for a simpler design. This is lined in fleece as well, so it maintains a nice bit of warmth. Number 24, the Fleece Pullover. This has a clo of 1.57, which is a tie. The price is $90, and this is a newer model and one which could work just as well as a mid-layer as a standalone piece. You get a big front pocket and the capability to open up the placket if you want. But what I was really surprised at is that this actually matches the warmth of a full-on jacket. Now, it is, you know, more modern materials and stuff like that, but boy, that's pretty impressive. Number 23, the Full Swing Armstrong Fleece-Lined Active Jack. This has a clo of 1.58. The price is $140, and this is the next warmest active jack in the fleece line model, being a 1.58 clo versus the 1.54 of the thermal line version. Number 22, the blanket line chore coat. This has a clo of 1.61, costs $90, and is there any more classic design than the chore coat? This is one of the earliest Carhartt designs dating back to well over 100 years ago, and it's just as useful today with its huge pockets and straightforward layout as it was back then. Number 21, the Sherpa lined coat. This has a clo of 1.62, it costs $130, and the Sherpa lining is one of my favorites, offering a nice bit of loft and texture, but not overwhelming with its warmth. Being a coat, it's a little bit longer than the Armstrong jacket, of which it's a cousin. Number 20, the Full Swing Quick Duck Traditional Coat with a clo of 1.63, this costs $150, and quick duct material and 3M thin insulation make up a fantastic work jacket with this one. Warm, easy to move in, thanks to the full swing gussets, and it's a slight departure from the usual Carhartt look and feel. Number 19, the Yukon Fleece Active Jack. Now this has a clo of 1.63, which is actually a tie. It costs $130, and the Yukon series is the warmest line that Carhartt offers, and the Fleece Active Jack is incredible. I've worn mine as a standalone layer on all but the coldest days. There are nylon duck reinforcements where you need them on this one, and the fleece itself, it, it just feels tougher than any other fleece I've ever tried. Number 18, the Lightweight Insulated Jacket. This has a clo of 1.64, it costs $100, and this was previously known as the Gilliam Jacket. And this is a surprisingly durable jacket with its core dura shell, which actually makes it great on its own, but I've used mine often as a mid-layer to really bump up the warmth factor. Number 17, the Washed Duck Sherpa Lined Utility Jacket. This has a clo of 1.64, which is a tie. It costs $130, and I've always felt that the utility jacket doesn't get the attention it deserves. It's always seemed like a great all-around work jacket with a few little trick features like that chest pocket, but all the usual stuff that you still need on the job. Number 16, the Super Ducks Active Jack. This has a clo of 1.64, which is a tie. The price is $160, and Super Ducks line has this cool shell material, as I described before, which almost feels like a sweatshirt on steroids. With flexibility and softness and a DWR finish, this Active Jack has similar insulation to the Sherpa lining and is the most comfortable jacket that Carhartt makes that I've ever tried. Number 15, the FR Full Swing Quick Duck Coat with a clo of 1.68. This costs $260. Now this is where we break into the next level of warmth with an FR jacket in quick duck material with 150 gram 3M Thinsulate. And if you're looking at FR options, this model is actually quite a bit warmer than the previous model, but it's not the warmest in Carhartt's FR offering. Number 14, the Full Swing Ripstop Jacket with a clo of 1.7, a price of $160, and this is made of 10 ounce Cordura ripstop nylon and 80 gram 3M Thinsulate insulation, so this makes a more tactical looking work jacket with significant warmth to it. This is also where you begin to see elements of the Yukon line with features like the hood closure that you see here. 
Number 13, the duck traditional jacket with a clo of 1.7, which is a tie, a price of $120. And if you need to batten down the hatches and prefer a jacket length, then the traditional jacket is the one that you want. Made of legendary firm duck material, this jacket will wear like iron while keeping you warm. Number 12, the J130 Active Jack with a clo of 1.7, which is a tie, a price of $110. Now this jacket, it's softer washed cotton duck shell. It has 80 gram 3M Thinsulid insulation and the most well thought out design in active jack history. I did an entire video on this bad boy and it's truly one of the best of Carhartt's toughness combined with usability, all based on feedback that they've gotten from the field. Number 11, the Washed Duck Sherpa Line Jacket. This has a clo of 1.71, the price is $120, and this is basically a warmer, hooded version of the Detroit jacket. It's simple, warm, and effective. All right, we're in the top 10 here, so this is the Reversible Fleece Jacket with a clo of 1.71, which is a tie. The price is $120, and this is a trick little jacket being reversible and surprisingly warm at 1.71 clo. I mean, that's impressive. Turn it inside out for the bad weather and you have a true two-in-one jacket for those transitional seasons. Number nine, the FR Duck Traditional Coat with a clo of 1.72. The price is $230. This is basically fire resistant in a classic design and this is essentially the Duck Traditional Jacket, but in FR. Number eight is the Full Swing Crider Quick Duck Jacket with a clo of 1.74, a price of $160. I love the Carhartt Quick Duck fabric with its softer feel, it's more flexible, and it also has a DWR finish. This jacket feels like workwear of the future to me, with its unique features and its adjustments. In fact, this is the jacket that you would need if you find most Carhartt gear too stiff for your liking. Number seven, the Firm Duck Active Jack with a clo of 1.75, a price of $100. Now this is the second warmest active jack. This is the Firm Duck version, and it's a beast. Number six, the FR Duck Active Jack with a clo of 1.75, which is a tie, a price of $240. Now, this is the warmest of the FR line. This carries basically Yukon level warmth with flame resistance. Number five is the Yukon Insulated Coat with a clo of 1.75, which is a tie, a price of $190. The Yukon series basically dominates the top spots as Carhartt's warmest gear. Now, the nice thing about the Yukon line is that the models don't change much from their cotton duck counterparts. So if you like the Carhartt jacket that you currently own, but you want its warmth turned up a notch, well, then this is your answer. Number four, the Yukon Active Jack with a clo of 1.75, which is a tie, a price of $170. The tried and true Active Jack formula in a 500 denier nylon duck makeup with quilt lined 3M insulation this is the active jack you need if the weather is just never in your favor. Number three, the Super Ducks insulated coat with a clo of 1.79, a price of $180. Again, Super Ducks exterior material, which is nice and soft and flexible. It also comes in some pretty cool colors with quilted 100 gram 3M Thinsula insulation equals the third warmest Carhartt jacket in the traditional insulated coat. And this is the warmest of the Superdux line as well. And the DWR finish on all of the Superdux means that this jacket will keep you warm, keep the weather out, and it'll look good doing it. Number two is the Sherwood jacket with a clo of 1.83 and a price of $160. Now the fact that Carhartt makes a high visibility jacket with this level of warmth speaks to their knowledge of working conditions. High visibility clothing is required on almost every job site now, which often necessitates fitting a high vis vest over a jacket, and it's just not an ideal situation. Luckily, you can keep warm and be safe with the Sherwood jacket. Number one is the Yukon Extremes Parka. You knew this was coming. The clo is a solid two, the price is $300, and this is it, the ultimate in cold weather workwear with synthetic down insulation, enough pockets to hold anything you may need to carry. When it comes to the warmest Carhartt jacket, the Yukon Extremes Parka is truly next level. I've worn this on the coldest of days with significant wind chill, and it's like a brick house. Now, keep in mind that we've actually jumped up in small increments to this point, but the Yukon Parka is a significant jump from the previous one, 1.83 to 2.0, which means that this is seriously a difference that you will notice. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video is informative and helping you make the best choice for your next Carhartt jacket purchase. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I did a video where I actually went to a Carhartt factory and uh, checked out how they make things, actually checked out the town. It was, it was an amazing, amazing experience. If you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and click here and please let me know what you think because I, I'm very proud of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.